हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ द गिवन को प्लानर नॉन करंट फोर्स सिस्टम एज सॉन इन द फिगर नाउ ऑब्जर्व इन द फिगर वी हैव गिवन इक्विलेटरल ट्रायंगल है 60 डिग्री एंगल एट ऑल द कॉर्नर्स नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू रिजोल्व दिस ऑल फोर्सेस विद हॉरिजॉन्टल एज वेल एज वर्टिकल एक्सिस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू नोटेट इट एज ए ए बी सी now if we draw a parallel line passing from location a with the bc direction then here the 60 degree angle is with the acb and the same angle is with the horizontal of 20 kN upward point load now observing this 20 kN load and we know that the transmissibility rule we can transmit it in this direction of line of action of 20 kN load which makes a 60 degree angle with location b and 20 kN load is in the horizontal direction so we know all the angle of the given force now first we are going to resolve this inclined loading so this 20 kN load if we resolve it in horizontal as well as vertical axis as a perpendicular resolution then the angle is with the horizontal it means here we have a 20 cos 60 and vertical axis resolution is 20 sin 60 now all the force is in outward direction hence we have to draw a direction of resolution in outward location going ahead at the resolution of point a if we draw a perpendicular resolution again 60 degree it with horizontal hence the horizontal resolution is 20 cos 60 while vertical resolution is 20 sin 60 and the given load is in outward direction hence the resolved direction is also a outward now for the resultant of given figure we know that our resultant value is nothing but summation of sigma x square plus summation of sigma v square so for that we have to first calculate sigma h and first of all 20 kN is in the horizontal direction so it is positive 20 now 20 cos 60 is in the negative direction we have to take it as a negative now this 20 cos 60 is in the positive direction so it is plus 20 cos 60 and solving this we will have sigma h as a 20 kN similarly if we go for the sigma v then 20 sin 60 in upward positive direction at location a 20 sin 60 is again in the upward direction and location c no vertical load is there so total two times 20 sin 60 and the value for sigma v is 34.64 kN and if we put 20 kN and 34.64 in the equation of resultant then our resultant value is 40 kN now we have to locate this 40 kN with the direction as well as the distance as the system is given as a non concurrent system so for the distance if we assume that this resultant is creating a clockwise moment with respect to location b then the resultant into d as a resultant moment where d is the perpendicular distance of this resultant and r into d is the moment of resultant which is 40 into d and this d known as a perpendicular distance of this resultant with respect to b now we have to equate this with the moment of this coplanar non concurrent system hence the moment of force is 
the moment with respect to b and b then the moment of 20 sin 60 and 20 cos 60 is 0 at this location again 20 kN load of location c makes the zero moment only 20 cos 60 and 20 sin 60 makes a moment over location b and if we have to take a moment of 20 cos 60 then we have this perpendicular distance now we have given 2 cm distance of a to b direction and if we take a perpendicular drop at location a which makes an angle 90 now we know that the given triangle is equilateral it means it is the same size so bottom length of b to c is 2 cm hence the b to d distance is 1 cm now if we use a tan 60 between a b d then it is the unknown distance ad or we can say that the perpendicular distance of 20 cos 60 divided by b to d it means our ad value is nothing but 10 60 and the value is 1.73 meter so our perpendicular distance of 20 cos 60 is 1.73 now we have to take the moment at b and 20 cos 60 makes a anticlockwise moment with respect to b so it is minus 20 cos 60 into 1.73 and 20 sin 60 again creates the anticlockwise moment and it is negative 20 sin 60 into perpendicular distance is 1 now summing up all these value we will have the moment with respect to b is 34.62 kilo newton meter and this moment is anti-clockwise moment it means our assumption of clockwise moment is wrong as resultant and force system must be equal now if we equate this value moment at b with respect to resultant then we will have otd must be equal to 34.62 and solving this value we have distance is 0 0.87 meter it means our resultant 40 kN load having the perpendicular distance of 0 0.87 with respect to b now we must have the direction of this resultant force and for that we have to take a tan of angle which is sigma v by sigma h now our sigma v value is 34.64 divided by sigma h as a 20 so our theta r value which is 60 degree it means our resultant makes the angle 60 degree with respect to horizontal axis now we have to locate the resultant in the coordinate system and for that we have sigma h value is positive sigma v value is positive it means our resultant lies in first quadrant Another point is our resultant makes an angle 60 degree with the horizontal axis. So if we consider this axis as a horizontal which is parallel to x then at angle 60 degree our resultant must be there and for the direction we know that this resultant creates the and the direction of this resultant is in which indicates the resultant and the perpendicular distance with respect to b is 0 0.87 meter thank you